creek tomorrow um, and I'm thinking that uh, water and lack of will possibly be a major issue so uh, I'm just testing I've still got a lot of material left here I got five litres of material that I got last time I was out um, five litres it's filtered down to one inch so I don't know um, it may have been eight litres or ten it's like a ten litre bucket let's say ten litre bucket filtered out um, I'm running it it's very dry now I've been here for three weeks um, I'm doing one last test to see how I might cope with tomorrow I'll have to bring my own I will be bringing my own water in uh, I'll bring in 20 litres check the creek first to see if there's water if not if there anyway so I've got 20 litres and if I need more I'll get more from a pond there um, or dig for it. There might be a pool. There's a good chance there'll be big pools there. Who knows? But I'll bring 20 litres anyway. Um, I'm just running this to see how it goes. I've, I've cut up a new V-mat. My original V-mat, I used to cut it, uh, remove every second rib. I've cut up a new mat. Well, that, I'm removing um, not every second rib. I'm removing two ribs. Leave one. Remove two. Leave one. Remove two. Leave one. Um, it's just the fear of losing a a larger flake that can't fit in between the um, the ripples. So anyway, look. I'm, I'll just keep running this. This is straight from the creek three weeks ago and uh, I'll turn this back on when I've got something else to show over. Remove the tailings we'll get this uh, mat out and we'll have a look where the gold if any has lodged These have got some nice pieces, man. Um, not ma not many, but there's one beautiful piece there. Okay, so that's um, I don't know. Can you see that? But th this is like I've got a hacksaw blade. If anyone knows how long a hacksaw blade is, the dimensions. This is quite a long one, so just over a foot or so. I'm pretty sure this is 300 mil my uh, mat and this would be about half an inch wide so the gaps after removing like like the, the, you can see that there's the one two three there's where I haven't removed then I remove one two leave one one two leave one one two leave one I did have a another mat here that had every one removed um, and because every one was removed I could only anyway that became three every three removed um, and what happens the more material you move the less ripples you got anyway this is every second one removed now there's a big mother there there's one there one there that's a visible one easily visible one there one there one there one there one there one there on here and again, that that would that would be like five inches. The last piece I can see is in the f first five inches, um, and down here I cannot see anything. This big rock. Okay, so what I'll do anyway, the first ha the half, so 15 centimeters of mat, empty it out. Um, I'm getting very, very little uh, cons, so I can almost straight away clean up and see almost, almost straight away what we've got. So, that 
that out. So there, and there's my pieces. I'll count them, wait. One, two, one, two huge, one, two easily visible, and half a, half a dozen of other stuff. It's in the shade. And that's not in the shade. So that's that. That's almost a picker, hang on. Oh, it's wet. Makes it easy to pick up. I've seen it. <laughs> I heard that noise. Not loud, but... I've seen people claim those that as a picker previously. I can see that one. <laughs> love that noise. you got to love that noise. Okay, so that's that. Um, so I caught a whole bunch. Now... This is gold. Any gold here is gold that didn't get away. Uh, what's that big piece doing in there? Did I not empty this? Um, gee, there's a huge piece there. Oh, that, oh, that, that did not... Basically no gold except for this huge piece. Let me listen. Oh, it's stuck to me. Um, look, I don't know, is that the same piece? Anyway, that got caught. I don't know, is that the same piece? I think it is. Must have somehow didn't get washed out. Gee, I wish that was in the top bit. Anyway, so that's that. Um, so pretty much caught all that. I'm just going to check what got under the mat first. Which I, I wish I didn't have so much material under there. That's, I wish there was none under there. I will come up with a way of getting rid of that because it, I don't want to spend that time just under the mat anyway there's nothing under it so I'll probably be um, throwing that out okay now what I'm going to do now I'm going to put this mat back run me tailings and um, see what actually did get away over lost my hacksaw blade um, I've just run the the tailings um, and I need there to be no gold at all in here none any piece of gold in here is a fail um, I'm seeing nothing which is good I'm not going to run the tailings twice I'll just run it once should be enough um, I saw nothing but then again there was a big piece before in the bottom part of the mat which I didn't see so who knows what's hiding uh, I'll do this really carefully too because I want to see if there's any even tiny fly shit little bit of black sand this uh, cutting out you know, oh there's a fly shit there this cutting out of the um, ribs uh, makes it harder to catch the fly shit and harder to catch the black sand um, actually that's not even a fly shit that's, a, that, that's more of a vogus nugget Actually, that might even be bigger than a bogus. A heaps bigger than. I can't um, almost vi uh, easily visible. I don't know. No, I would call that. Vis oh, hang on, salt. Piece of salt, a bit about the size of a grain of salt. So that's bad. So I am losing gold. 
five ten percent that does it matter it adds up um, in in a lifetime it adds up but in a day let's say I don't know what a monster of a day would be 0.5 of a gram lose 10 lose 10 percent which will be 0.05 of a gram like Yeah, I don't know. It adds, it adds, I don't know. Anyway, so I did lose. Um, so that's the final test I'm doing anyway. I'm, I'm going to get by with it. I want to, no, that's it. Um, what else can I show? Nothing. I'm uh, just going to show how, uh, how my, um, lack of water how I'm going to handle the lack of water uh, my system I, what I do I, I, I fill this bucket with water uh, that will sit in there or not I might use my bigger basin anyway basically that, that sits in a basin then I get my my one inch um, bucket sieve. Is this thing running? I think it is. I think it is. Uh, so that sits in there. Jeez, that's a long way up. That's that, that's fine. So that, I filled it with water, shake material, a shovel, shake, 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 tip it out. Shovel, shake. It. So as water, as, as material goes through this, uh, the bucket sieve, it displaces the water. The water comes over falls into this bucket which is a little bit small I might have, I'll get a bigger bucket I, I'll, I'll get another basin from somewhere um, and then then once I, once that's done this comes out over there for feeding and this water uh, I, I will put in my tub and then put it under there to catch the big rocks so that's pretty much how that works. Conserving water in like because that's going to turn to soup. And uh, every time it turns to soup, I need to get more water. If I've got to walk all the way to the vehicle, that's um, 10 minutes. Hmm. And, then, and then I've got a trolley 20 kilos of water. Anyway, that's it. I've, uh, I shall make a report, a film tomorrow over and out.